You may think that you don't need to implement a system like the Toyota Production System, or TPS. You don't exist in the cutthroat competitive business of automobile manufacturing. However, you act as stewards with a fiduciary responsibility of spending the citizens' and businesses' money prudently. The government and military also face risks. Budgets can change radically in a short period of time, and new projects can be dictated. These risks can be mitigated by building a system like Toyota did that increases adaptability and resilience to change. This presentation is going to take you on a journey that will show how the TPS can bring you operational excellence. The presentation will flow in two directions. First, I will overview the benefits you will achieve if you implement your production system. Secondarily, I will give you a high-level overview of how to build your production system and focus on three different areas. The first is how you build your production system. The second is how to achieve operational excellence. And the third is how to optimize your supply chain. TPS brings the understanding of the performance of every single process in your government or military. It allows you to improve process velocity and quality, as well as decrease cost. It promotes a focus on value delivered. Though you will never achieve perfection, striving towards it at a rate of about one idea per month by every individual will get you closer. The Small Business Administration in Fort Wayne, Indiana have achieved operational excellence by going down this path. This works for any business, government, or military. Your supply chains represent a huge financial investment. How about if the cost of that supply chain decreased every year? Next, I will overview what it takes to build your production system. These five steps are taken to achieve operational excellence. Let's review each step here and then go into more detail later. It starts with value. If everyone in the government and military can focus on the value you deliver to your customers and warfighters, that is a great first step. Now that you understand the value, map it and put it into a value stream. I will talk more about value streams in more detail later. Flow is nirvana. A perfect working organization will flow. No time waiting between processes. If value doesn't flow, then the next best thing is pull. Pull in manufacturing means that you don't build a product until you get an order. In a government or military, ideally you won't start provision of a service or product until it is requested. There is minimal stockpiling of materials. Every government organization or military unit should seek perfection. Let's start the detailed discussion with teaching value delivered. It is ironic that you actually speed up your processes by removing activities that do not add value. These activities predominate the total activity. Lean Six Sigma uses the acronym DOWNTIMES to highlight the non-value added activities. Your employees will be able to add to the 44 that I have listed here. Removing activities that do not add value increases process velocity, decreases process cost, and increases process quality. Deming was the business and statistical expert that is revered in Japan as starting them on the road to excellence. I won't read every line, but I will focus on the last one. Leaders do not have a profound knowledge of their processes. TPS and mapping your value streams will accomplish this. Let's discuss mapping a value stream next. Every government agency or military unit is a system. A system contains value streams. Value streams contain processes and processes contain activities. All governments and militaries contain value streams whether you know it or not. By organizing your government or military by value streams allows you to target your first performing processes for improvement. If you improve the process without the context of a value stream, then you don't know if that improvement will improve your delivery of value. A value stream starts with either a request or demand and travels through all the processes that deliver on that request or demand. This example is of a building permit process that demonstrates the removal of non-value added activities, innovation, and a focus on delivering value. This slide contains two value streams, the initial on top and the final on the bottom. The path through the initial value stream takes 420 minutes. The final value stream takes 40 minutes. The value add time decreased by 32 minutes and the quality increased by 5%. You should manage by value streams, which cuts across departments. There are three methods that products or services traverse through your government or military. Flow, pull, or push. Let's discuss flow first. Flow occurs when two processes take the same time to perform, so the pass between the processes is optimized. In this condition, the first process completes just as the second process is ready for the output from the first process. It cannot get any better than that. Pull means that an effort is initiated based on a request. Pull has been analytically determined to be faster than push. Push just means that every department goes as fast as they can whether a request is made or not. A ripe area for pull is in your supply chains. Do you just receive a supply when the supplier ships or when you need it? If you don't need it, then you're just paying for and storing that supply for the supplier. When you implement a pool system with your supplier, then you are in control of your inventory. This is a secret of the Toyota production system. 
the continuous march towards perfection. However, as you can see in this drawing, as you start from your current condition, you don't just improve, but you improve in steps towards a vision, which is never achieved, or a challenge, which is usually has about a two year time frame. You traverse from the current condition to your end point through intermediate target condition. The management starts with a government or military goal. That goal is transferred to the value stream manager who understands where the focus needs to be to achieve that goal. In this example, the goal is to improve value stream velocity by 30% within two years. The value stream manager will select the processes whose improvement will accomplish that goal and discusses this with the process managers. The process manager manages the operations people. Every operations individual is the expert in your government or military on their operation. The individuals in operations are the individuals responsible for traversing the target conditions. Tracy and Wearsman noted that greatness comes from focusing in these three areas. The best focused in one of the areas and was also good in the other areas. Every government and military should focus at least on operational excellence and customer intimacy. And then maybe the military should also focus on innovation. Going through this process will increase margin. In other words, money will go further. Decreasing expenses highlights the good stewardship of citizens and businesses' money. By implementing TPS, flow will increase throughout your whole organization. First, it is important to orderly rank your suppliers based on the value they deliver. This will allow you to direct your focus on what makes the biggest difference. The nice thing about just-in-time and setting up a pool system for your vendors is that you control time and inventory. You may have strategic vendors, just like Toyota, that are challenged with a pool system. Toyota fixes that problem by sending experts from Toyota to their supplier to help their supplier become more efficient. Let me give you a procurement example. Let's say you are buying rail guns from a vendor. First year you received 5 or 10. The next year you receive 50. Because manufacturing many should be less expensive than manufacturing few, I would push on that vendor to decrease their price as orders increase. An example of pushback you may get is that they have sunk a lot of R&D into product and they are trying to recoup that. R&D is a cost of doing business and should not be borne by you. Projects mean change and change means improvement. By implementing TPS, the number of projects you'll have going will skyrocket. Modeling your system after TPS does require fortitude and follow through, but the good news is that the benefits will start to accrue quickly. This takes you to profound knowledge of your processes. America is making an investment in government and military to ensure future excellence. Use that money wisely. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, expert on building a production system like Toyota, and an innovation master. Don't wait for operational excellence. Start now.